When news of the fatal shooting on the set of Alec Baldwin's film, Rust, first hit back in October, we were pretty shaken up. And to be honest, we still kind of are. But it seems that things are slowly but surely going back to normal again because Baldwin has returned to work for the first time since the incident. In today's video, we're bringing you the latest updates on Alec Baldwin, Kanye West's latest target, and Zendaya, and BTS's Super Bowl commercials, so stay tuned. Alec Baldwin returns to work. Alec Baldwin, who was unfortunately holding the prop firearm that caused the death of cinematographer Halia Hutchins and injury of director Joel Souza, has recently returned to work after nearly three months. In an Instagram video posted by the actor, Alec Baldwin shared how it felt strange to be returning to work after the incident. Baldwin is currently in England working on his latest project, 97 Minutes, a thriller. In an early interview with ABC, Alec shared that he didn't pull the trigger of the loaded prop firearm that killed cinematographer Halia Hutchins. He also shared that the incident left him emotionally ravaged and led to countless nightmares in which guns were going off. We can only imagine the type of emotional trauma this could have caused not only by Alec but the entire cast and crew present that fatal day. Although production on Rust has been halted since the incident, some recent developments regarding the situation have been made. They have, as you may imagine, not been good ones. According to NBC News, the medic who was on site and assisted Hutchins and Souza while they were injured has filed a negligence lawsuit against the film's production group and several of the crew members. Let's be real, we all saw this one coming. There's no way this situation would escalate without at least a few lawsuits being thrown in the way. Carolyn Schaefer, who was one of the medics who was rushed to the scene after the fatal shooting incident took place, she attended to Hutchins' injuries, supplying her with oxygen and applying pressure to the wound until a helicopter arrived. In the lawsuit, Schaefer has allegedly said that she suffered tremendous shock, trauma, and severe emotional distress as a result of the cinematographer's death. Schaefer has been medically unable to return to work, and honestly, we get it. Who would be? After witnessing and being in the presence of such an intense and quite literal life and death situation, you can't walk away with at least a few emotional scars. And Schaefer is not the first person to have filed a lawsuit following this incident. She's actually actually the fourth. What's interesting and fortunate to see though is that Alec Baldwin himself has not been individually accused of the incident. Which is good, kinda. If you look at it from a technical point of view, it really wasn't his fault as much as it was the stunt team and the people whose responsibility it actually was to be taking care of and handling these firearms, whether they be props or not. Obviously, not being there, we don't really know the full truth and reality of the situation in full detail, but right now all we can do is hope that everyone involved, including Hutchins' family, are holding up okay. Honestly, assessing this whole situation, we're kind of still really shocked that it even happened in the first place. You'd think after the Brandon Lee incident back in 1993, which led to his death, production and crew members would have made it a habit to be extra careful about firearms, real or fake, on set. After all, the incident that killed Lee was eerily similar to Hutchins. Both had a case of a loaded firearm that went off. A firearm that, to the actor's knowledge, was empty. But guess not. Anyway, we don't know how the situation will further escalate, or if it will at all, but all we can do is hope that in the future these firearms are dealt with with more caution. Kanye versus Billy? Yep, we've got more ye news. It seems like the Donda rapper is allergic to not making headlines. And in recent times, it seems like he's got an obsession for making sure they're not the good kind. What headlines has he made, you may ask? Well, you might want to sit down for this one because, very frankly, it's kind of ridiculous as hell. Like, what? On February 10th, Ye shared a screenshot of his 11.2 million Instagram followers, a screenshot of the headline that claims that Billie Eilish dissed Travis Scott at her concert after she stopped mid-show to give a struggling fan an inhaler. Yeah, pretty ridiculous. Want to know why? Because because Billy never even said anything about Travis in the first place. In the caption of the Instagram post that now has 1.4 million likes, ye in all caps might we add, seems to be claiming that he will not be performing at Coachella, which he is headlining, unless Billie Eilish apologizes. Apologizes for what? Yeah, we have the same questions, honestly, because truthfully, there is nothing to apologize for. We've all seen the video and heard accounts of the incident
incident and absolutely no one brought up Travis. Eilish responded, of course, and commented on the post saying that she literally never said a thing about Travis, which is true, she didn't. And while it seems like Yee and even Travis, who liked the picture, is making her look like the bad guy, sorry, we couldn't help ourselves, Billie Eilish has everyone's support, including ours and the family of the youngest Astro World incident victim's family. Bernard Blount, grandfather of Ezra Blount, who lost his life as a result of suffering critical injuries at Astro World, was all Team Billy. He criticized West's words, as he should, calling them idiotic, because they kinda are. Bernan's wife even added that it was crazy he wanted Billy to apologize for caring for her concert goers, and that she totally commends Billy for having the decency to step in. We couldn't agree more, Grandma Blount. As for Kanye, well, let's just hope that he can, you know, stop reaching with all these absurd claims day after day. We don't know if all his recent actions are some sort of publicity stunt to get him into the limelight before Donda 2 drops, but at the end of the day, ye, okay, we really couldn't mean for that to rhyme, by the way. You're really only just harming your own reputation. And speaking of reputation, the similarity of the incident also reminded many of his weird on and off feud with Taylor Swift since 2008. And now he's being called everything from entitled to misogynistic. Yikes. You reap what you sow, or should we say, ye reap what ye sow. Okay, we're sorry, but the opportunity presented itself on a silver platter. I just couldn't pass it up. Anyway, on to some super exciting news. Andrew Garfield secures Oscar nomination. Yes, it happened. And now we can't keep our cool because, um, hello, it's Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield, love of our life, sunshine after the rain, incredibly talented actor, performer, and vocalist, and wow, saying that has us a little out of breath, but is there anything this man can't do? The 38-year-old was nominated for the Best Actor category at the 94th Academy Awards for his performance as Jonathan Larson in Lin-Manuel Miranda's Tick, Tick, Boom. And honestly, just give it to him right now. It's what we all want. He was nothing short of brilliant. Andrew shared that he even received heartfelt and supportive messages from Spider-Man co-stars Tom Holland and Tobey Maguire. All Spidey Squad came through. If we remember right, the texts probably came in the group chat that Tom created, and we'd just like to take this opportunity to say that, hey Tom, please add us to that group chat. We'll supply you with endless memes and cat videos. Garfield is nominated alongside Javier Bardem, Benedict Cumberbatch, Will Smith, and Denzel Washington. Tough contenders, especially Cumberbatch, who's been swooping awards left and right for his performance in The Power of the dog. But we wish everyone the best of luck and have our fingers crossed. Zendaya is a seaside sensation in her first Super Bowl commercial. Zendaya has been in her bag, y'all. She is booked and busy. Following the massive success of Spider-Man No Way Home, Zendaya has just starred in her very first Super Bowl commercial for Squarespace, directed by none other than Edgar Wright. The brilliant commercial takes a modern spin on the classic tongue twister, Sally sells seashells by the seashore, with Zendaya playing Sally who's struggling to make her seashell business work, but quickly sees, see what we did there? Success because of Squarespace. It's definitely a work of art everyone should see. Seriously, go watch it if you haven't already. But if we're being honest, we're happy but not fully satisfied with seeing this duo work together for just a commercial. We'd give anything to see these two work on bigger projects in the future, and hopefully we will. If not, we'll just go back to tweeting right every day until it happens. Sorry not sorry, Edgar. Speaking of Super Bowl commercials, one other major act is also about to make their Super Bowl debut. BTS teams up with Samsung for Super Bowl commercial. BTS, the mega pop sensation, who have been longtime Samsung partners, have teamed up with the tech company for a two minute long commercial, but not really commercial, commercial. BTS stars in the new promotional video for Samsung's new Galaxy for the Planet campaign for the Super Bowl. Samsung dropped the video just recently, and honestly, you can't blame us, but we really couldn't decide on what to pay attention to because, well, they're just so striking. The video is seemingly inspired by Bob Dylan's iconic Subterranean Homesick Blues music video, and it's brilliantly executed. We can't wait to see these seven boys on our screens again soon, and who knows, maybe we might even see them performing at a halftime show in the future. BTS are some of the best performers of this generation, so a halftime show would be incredible, and the ratings would skyrocket too. So, hey, we've got Got our fingers crossed. That's all we have for you guys today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.
channel for more. See you guys next time. Bye.